Hello everyone and welcome back guys to round two of the FIA GT Sport 2020 Manufacturers Preseason Series where today we're here at Fuji once again in the Group 4 cars. Now obviously if you guys missed out on the last video I would highly highly recommend going back and checking it out. It was one of our first races back again on GT Sport but yeah hopefully today we can have a little bit of a better showing here at Fuji. I'll be honest not as much of a fan of this track as I was of Spa, but hopefully, I'm sort of, you know, with a huge long front straight, I'm hoping that we can try and pick up some consistency in this car. Now, I think I learned a fair bit from last week's race, you know, it was very much a learning curve for myself, but I think hopefully coming into today and the rest of the season, you know, we can try and build up our consistency and see what we can manage in our Lamborghini Huracan. Actually, another couple of Lambos this week out is nice as well, so it's nice to know that I'm not just the lone Lambo in this series. We have 14 laps ahead of us here around the Fuji race circuit. We start P5 on the grid. Unfortunately, our qualifying lap didn't quite go in the way I'd wanted it. You know, we made a couple of small mistakes. We also got blocked a couple of times by people. You know, it was a five-minute session, so it was just very, very desperate to try and get out on to our runs. But it is lights out, and away we go then here for round two of the 2020 preseason manufacturer series here. And like always, you're basically just going to instantly duck into the slipstream here. We've got a Ford Mustang and a Porsche Cayman just ahead of us as we make the run down in towards Turn 1. And the Mustang is going to break really early and then also really late in towards Turn 1. Not too sure how he managed that one. But yeah, a lot of contact between him and the Porsche as we head through the first couple of corners here. And I'm probably just going to try and aim to stay out of this one. You can see the Porsche picks up a two-second time penalty for that. Not too sure what he did to warrant that, but we'll, we'll gloss over that as we now have a look towards the outside of the Mustang here as we head down through turn three there. He runs a bit too deep. We're able to slip up the inside there, take a lot of grass to try and get the front end rotated through there, but we do slot ourselves up into P4 of the race. The Mustang, though, tries to keep the nose up the inside there. We, you know, cut off his run to the apex there, and yeah, we now move ourselves up into P4 of this race. So a good little start for ourselves. We're already at one spot here. Hopefully it should be another as well with the Porsche Cayman with his penalty. But we might not even need to wait until he serves his penalty there. We get a much better run through the fast corner there at the bottom of the hill. And we're going to be able to have a look up the inside. Perhaps he's going to give us a big, big squeeze over the curbing there as we head down in towards the final few corners of the lap here. We're not quite able to make the move work just yet here. But on the exit, you can see the Porsche starting to struggle already just a little bit there trying to get the power down as early as possible here and these final couple of corners are just cut back heaven as we head out of the final turn we're going to be pretty much alongside of him here and like i said with his penalty as well he's going to drop massively down as there he goes so we're up three spots uh, sorry two spots even i should say we're up into p3 of the race by the end of lap one there so quite happy with that we've got an alfa romeo up in the lead as well as a frenchman in the mercedes in P2 here, so it's going to be interesting to see how we fare against these guys over the course of tonight. But yeah, like I said, after last week, you know, the last round, I felt we'd learn a fair bit once again on GT Sport, and I'm sort of hoping, you know, if I play this game a bit more consistently, perhaps I can try and pick up my pace. I think my, you know, my one lap pace is fairly decent on this game, as we managed to pick ourselves up a one second penalty there by accidentally completely slicing turn two, which was certainly not what we needed. But yeah, like I was saying, I feel like our one that pace is quite good. It's just our consistency. We're still struggling with the game mechanics here. Looking at free practice times relative to, you know, to the top people in the world, we were only actually about a second off just over, you know, off the world record here. So I felt like we had some fairly decent pace in the car. But obviously, we just need to build up our consistency and our race pace here. And, you know, just learn a few of the small mechanics of the game and everything like that. But you can see... As we head down in towards the final few corners of lap two here, we're all over the back now of the Mercedes, and we're probably not going to be able to make a move stick as we have got to serve our one second penalty here. As you can see, at the final couple of corners there, he takes a lot of grass on the entry here, so we might as well try and get in the way just a little bit as well here. Through the final couple of corners, I'm sure the Russian in the lead is loving seeing this battle going on behind him there. The Mercedes completely takes off the circuit as we head at the final corner there. But we're going to have to actually slam on the anchors. And now we can continue racing once again here. And you can see now the Mustang that was behind us is surely going to get a much better run as we head down in towards Tamar. Then we're going to dive straight into the slipstream 
try to lose out as little time as possible there. I mean, that one second penalty has cost us well over two seconds here. So clearly a good incentive to stop corner cutting here on GT Sport. But you can see now the Mustang just in front of us once again. And he was struggling a bit in a few places around this track. I felt like he had a fairly similar car to the Hurricane. It was just a bit better on the straight, so the lack is just a bit more through the corners here as we head down in towards turn two there because he's going defensive through the kink here so as we head down in towards the long flowing hairpin here you can see we're going to try and have a look right around the outside there and he's struggling with that understeer as you can see and we're going to open up the track space as best as possible here try to get the car rotated over towards the racing line once again there and yeah on the exit you can see we just get a bit of better run and there's no way he can really go in that situation to open up a run down this next straightaway there. So we're back up into P3, but you can see there's already about a four and a half second gap to the race leader opening up here. So we just need to try and improve our consistency and see where we end up in this race. I definitely felt like we had some good pace in the car once again. I was actually quite surprised as to how well the Hurricane worked around at this circuit there. You can see the Mercedes one lap later getting a bit loose in towards the penultimate corner of the lap here so we're going to be able to have a look up the inside there completely park it on the apex of the final corner there to stop him getting the run down at the front straightaway here and now it's going to basically be a bit of a drag race obviously he's got the slipstream as you can see but the lambo with the seven speed gearbox is an absolute missile down at the straightaway so you can see he ducks out the slipstream slots back in again i'm not too sure if he wants to try and really fight this as well here as we head down in towards turn one there but yeah he's going to bail out as you can see on the radar down in towards turn one there so he's clearly you know potentially he just wants to stick in the toe for a couple of laps hopefully we can try and work together to get up towards the race leader there like we said the gap was about 4.7 seconds we can see over the next couple of laps though as we get ready for the pit stop window here we would really really start to take a lot of time out of the race leader there the mercedes would completely drop down the order here i'm not too sure if he pit early or what but yeah the gap was now actually to the ford behind us and it was up to about four and a half seconds here. But yeah, as we dive into the pit lane though, I think most people were trying to go for this strategy at the end of the day. Just a soft to medium six lap and then an eight lap stint. And obviously just a splash of fuel as well. There we get a nice tidy pit stop there. 8.5 seconds there. We've actually taken a couple of extra seconds out of the Alfa Romeo as well as we head down in towards turn one here. So we're pretty much now at the halfway stage of this race. And yeah, hopefully throughout the second half we can just slowly but surely bring down that gap and i think you know the alpha very very strong through the corners not so strong at down the straight so obviously if we can get past him and get a big enough run we could potentially leave ourselves with not having to defend as much we could see over the next couple of laps like i said you know the pace we had in the hurricane was pretty consistent over the course of this race you can see the first stint after the first couple of laps we've set consistent 42s there on lap eight of the race there we set the fastest lap of the evening a 141.562 as well so clearly showing you know we had some good pace in the car and you can see now we were all over the back of the Alfa Romeo here we take about five seconds out of him in the space of five laps over the pit stop window here so really really starting to build up some confidence at the moment and you can see heading through the final couple of corners there he's starting to just make a few mistakes you can see he's clearly starting to panic watching us in the rear they're trying to break the toe doing absolutely everything he can and it's one of those beautiful situations to be in as the car behind you because you both know exactly it's going to happen at some point here as we head down in towards turn one there the alpha especially without the slipstream it's got nothing it can do against the hurricane there he's going to go defensive but it's really not going to matter there we're going to try and squeeze him a bit to the inside and then move back over to the racing line there he's going to try and get the nose back up the inside that we're going to give him the room there and just try to hang him out to dry over the curbs on the inside they get very very loose over the astro turf on the exit of turn one there but yeah nothing he can really do in that situation we just had that bit of extra pace and consistency there as we try not to cut turn two try not to pick ourselves up a half a second time penalty here but yeah now it's just a case of trying to get over that one second margin and hopefully just holding on between now and at the end of the race the end of lap 10 you can see up to 1.3 seconds there. He picked himself up a time penalty as well. That'll have to serve next lap as well here. So you can see he was just falling away towards the end of the race here. And, you know, this was exactly what we needed. A couple of seconds margin now. Obviously, if the tyres completely fell off the cliff, we had a little bit in the back pocket there. But you can see by the end of lap 14, the gap now pretty much opened up to about two and a half to three seconds here. 
as we head in towards the final couple of corners. And yeah, it was never really under question after we got that move done towards the end of the second stint here. But yeah, through the final couple of corners then of the race, we might have not had the luck in round one of the championship back at Spa. But yeah, coming to Fuji, we, you know, had a bit more consistency, knew what our game plan was. And as we head down towards the start finish line there, it is going to be the race victory at the end of the day there. Some good points on the board for Lamborghini as well there. And yeah, about a three second race victory there in the end ahead of the Alfa Romeo 4C there. It's actually a Ferrari came through in P3 there. Another four seconds behind him. The Mustang, he held on from P4 to finish P4 at the end of the day. But considering we were fighting him early on to have a 15 second margin over him, at the end of the day, I was quite happy with the Cayman that we saw at the start of the race in P5. They're ahead of our fellow Hurricane in sixth. Still no idea what happened to the Frenchman in the SLS there to finish half a minute off at the end of the day. They're ahead of another SLS there. An RCF Group 4 car in P9. And then a Cayman that started right towards the rear of the field there does slot in P10 at the end of the day there. Another Hurricane, I think the third and final Hurricane in P11 there ahead of a Toyota GT86. There are another RCF and SLS make up the bottom half of the top 14 at the end of the day. There be yeah, most people picking up one penalty over the course of that race. It's just the nature of Fuji at the end of the day. But it is the victory. Unfortunately, it wasn't the pole position. But yeah, we did get the race victory as well as the fastest lap there. So quite happy with that at the end of the day. And if I'm not mistaken, that's race win number 17 on GT Sport. Yeah, 131 points on the board as well for Lamborghini. Hopefully, we can try and get some good consistent points. I definitely, definitely need to try and up my driver rating as well on GT Sport. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching this video. Do get yourself subscribed if you're new around here and you do want to see more from the GT Sport Manufacturers 2020 series. But yeah, we will hopefully be back next time out no idea what the combo is next, but I'm pretty certain we're in the Group 3 Lambo, so that might be a bit of a tougher test.